Hello Leo, Summarizing so and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa, so keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. So you do have separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. The bottom of the deck, we do have past life relationship, you have known each other before, and then we also have released your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. There could have been some sort of breakup here or some sort of separation. This could also indicate distance between two people. It doesn't necessarily mean that this relationship came to an end. But we'll see. It all depends on the spread. But it does kind of look like there's a lot of distance uh, between these two people here. Um, let's focus on you first, Leo. Then we're going to jump over to them. So keep in mind that you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. So just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Leo currently view this relationship? Interesting. You got the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, Four of Wands, Aries energy, and then you also have the Sun, Leo energy. The bottom of the deck, you do have the Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. It kind of looks like you're heading directly What's interesting about it is that you're heading directly towards um, possibly a committed relationship uh, between you and another person, somebody that truly does make you happy, somebody that you just connect uh, with. And it does kind of look like you are putting in a lot of time and energy and effort uh, towards that relationship. You know what's interesting about all of this is that I don't feel like you went looking for love. It kind of looks like love found you and, you know, it caught you by surprise that this is somebody who, for the most part, makes you really happy. It's somebody that you get along with very, very well. Um, and I do see that for the most part, you are putting in a lot of work, a lot of time and energy and effort um, towards this relationship that you share with this person, but I am kind of getting that. I don't feel like you went looking for love. I kind of feel like love found you, to be totally honest. All right. How does this person currently view this relationship with you? Yeah, strength, Leo energy. I like this person, by the way. I can see why you like them too. We have the star, Aquarian energy, and then we got the queen of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Oh, I like this person. Now, I referenced how this person is currently viewing this relationship. Um, I kind of feel like if I could just describe this person really quickly, Queen of Pentacles, that's somebody who's very career oriented, somebody who's very money focused, somebody who could very well be financially well off. Uh, for some with the star being there, this could be somebody who's in the public eye, it doesn't necessarily have to be the case. I just kind of feel like whoever it is that you're connecting with is somebody who's very, very confident within themselves, somebody who's just very financially well off or this person just kind of has all their ducks in a row but I feel like this is somebody who's like in perfect alignment with themselves and what it is that they want and it does kind of look like for the most part if we're just kind of gravitating right back to you Leo this person's kind of looking at this situation like this relationship that they share with you it is bringing them a lot of wish fulfillment i kind of feel like they asked for all of this and they're learning to essentially embrace and receive the blessings that are coming out of this relationship that they share with you i do feel like there is a level of resistance almost in a sense and sometimes that happens where we tend to kind of look at situations like it's too good to be true but i feel like this person is learning to embrace this connection um, because I feel like you have everything that this person could possibly ever ask for within a person and within a relationship. And they're just choosing to learn how to essentially accept the relationship that they share with you because it feels right to them. I feel like you just kind of stumbled across love here. I kind of feel like you were kind of minding your own business and you just so happened to stumble across this person um and it's kind of like you're looking at this person leo like this is somebody worth investing your time and energy into this is somebody who makes you really really happy this is somebody that you can definitely see yourself establishing a future with and a life with so yeah i am kind of getting that i don't feel like 
I don't feel like this person went looking for you. I don't feel like you went looking for them. Somehow, some way, the two of you just kind of collided with one another and it just kind of felt right. Um, so I, I like I like relationships like that, don't you? But all right, how does uh, Leo feel about this relationship? We got the five of wands. Interesting. I feel like this person really changed your mind. King of swords. Yep, this person really changed your mind. I like this person, dude. I don't know who this freaking queen of pentacles is, but I freaking like them, man. Um, anyways, going back to you, Leo. Now, in reference to how you're currently feeling about this relationship, I kind of feel like you were at this point in time in your life where you honestly kind of gave up on love. It's like you wanted nothing to really do with love and or humans, okay? Um, and you just so happen, again, not looking for it, but you just so happen to stumble across this person. And I kind of feel like this person really changed your whole outlook as far as like, not wanting love in your life, not wanting to pursue it, you know, this is like, ugh, I'm so over love, I want nothing to do with love, but I feel like once this queen of pentacles came into your life, it changed absolutely everything for you, and I feel like it gave you a sense of hope, um, and with that being said, it does kind of look like for the most part, there is an equal give and take relationship between you and this person, again, this is somebody that you definitely see yourself having a future with, I like it. This is this is nice. How does uh, this person feel about this relationship with Leo? All right, let's talk about how they feel. Now we do have the Chariot, which is Cancer energy. We also have the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, and then we have the Moon, Cancer, also Pisces. The moon card is the uh, the what if this, what if that, what if this happens, what if that happens, blah, 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 blah. So it does kind of look like your person has um, this tendency of kind of giving into what if it backfires in my face and 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 what if, what if things go south and what if things don't necessarily go according to plan and should I be pursuing this person? I feel like those thoughts tend to kind of creep into this person's mind. But I do want to jump right back to the simple fact that if the connection in itself feels right to this person, that's definitely a feeling that they should totally follow instead of giving in to what their mind is kind of telling them, right? Because the mind has a tendency of kind of playing tricks on us, especially when it's attached to the moon. That that represents illusion. That represents the level of the unknown here. This person's in unfamiliar territory, right? Um, again, they're learning how to embrace you in this connection with you, Leo, which is a good thing because it does feel right to them, but they do kind of find themselves kind of questioning whether or not they should be pursuing you and whether or not it's safe, you know, because uh, I feel like this is all new uh, to this person here. And I feel like this person is trying to learn how to essentially adapt uh, to you in this relationship with you. And I feel like for the most part, they'll reach a point where they'll fully accept you and this relationship with you. But I do feel like it's going to take some time. All right, jumping back to Leo. What action will Leo take towards this person or moving forward? This person might even question you a whole lot. Sorry. We got the Four of Cups. Who are you? Cancer. Three of Wands, Aries, and then we also have the Page. Oh, interesting. All right, we'll get back to you in a minute. What actions will this person take towards Leo or moving forward? focus on this person first because I feel like this this person's action is triggering this reaction out of you uh, moving forward it does kind of look like for the most part again as far as embracing this connection and this relationship with you it's a process Leo okay it's a process for this person now 
That's my ice maker. It scared the hell out of me. Anyways, moving forward. <laughs> we have the uh, Knight of Pentacles. So this is the slowest moving knight in the tarot deck, right? So with that being said, I feel like this person's slowly going through this transition as far as embracing you and this connection uh, with you here. Again, it's not to say that this person doesn't see themselves having a future with you because they totally do. But you also have to take into consideration, Leo, that this person's kind of questioning every little thing along the way, right? Because, you know, again, we have this tendency of kind of looking at things like, oh, too good to be true, right? It's a transition that this person's going under. They're not fighting it whatsoever. They're learning to just embrace it, okay? And that in itself is going to essentially take time because uh, this person's moving at a very slow and steady pace here. They're going through this transition rather slowly. And I know that you may not like it, but they are essentially learning to embrace you and this connection with you. Now, when it comes down to the Four of Cups, Three of Wands, Page of Cups, I kind of feel like for the most part, now, as far as how you plan on moving forward here, I think that you find it hard to essentially believe that this person does want a future with you because of how slow they could very well be moving or how long it's taking them. To essentially embrace this connection so you might kind of find yourself really kind of feeling like oh this person may not really want to be with me let me kind of tone it down just a little bit dude it's not that this person doesn't want to freaking be with you they do want to be with you it's just they're moving at a very slow and steady pace okay knight of pentacles that's the slowest moving knight in the deck i do see them speeding it up I do, but then I see them jumping right back into questioning it. And then there's going to come a point in time where this person, for the most part, is just going to kind of give in to you in this relationship with you. Once they reach this point of feeling confident within themselves to jump in and, and fully commit themselves to you in this relationship with you, which I do see them doing that at some point, eventually. It's just going to take time, all right? But I do see you kind of questioning whether or not you know, this person truly wants to be with you. I kind of see you toning it down just a little bit. Like, you know what? Let me not shower this person with love. Let me, let me not, you know, jump the gun so quickly with this person. Let me slow it down just a little bit. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't think that this person truly wants to like be with me. Dude, they do relax. They do. It's just going to take them some time to reach this point of feeling confident within themselves to you know, jump the gun here when it comes down to a relationship with you. Any advice for Leo in regards to this spread? I feel like you're creating, Leo, um, an imbalance here too, um, moving forward here. Um, and again, this all stems from the simple fact that you might feel like this person's not that interested in you and you can be basing it off of how they express themselves to you, um, whatever the case may be, right? Um, and I kind of feel like with deception, let go of control issues and express your love, I kind of feel like you need to kind of throw away this whole thought of, well, it's just the way they talk to me and they don't say this to me and they don't do all of these things because you have to understand that your person's going under a transition and although you're already at this point leo of this is my person they're the ones who make me happy they're the ones that i want to essentially establish a rela relationship with just because you're there doesn't necessarily mean that this person is there just yet it takes time and there's nothing wrong with that it doesn't mean that this person doesn't love you it doesn't mean that this person doesn't care because i feel like they do I really do feel like they do. I just kind of feel like you need to kind of give them a little bit of a break. That's it. That's it. And you'll be fine. So stop thinking that this person doesn't want to be with you or establish a relationship with you or let me just calm down. Let me tone it down because, you know, they, they probably don't really want me like that. That's not the case because I'm looking at it right now. That, that, that's so not the case. Um, so stop thinking that way. So... Hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.